Hi there, me again, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery. Deeds of settlement. Now, some of you may have got these. This is where halfway through a job without any introduction or warning, you get a document from your client saying, sign this, I'll pay you 30 grand out of the 450,000 I owe you, and we all go our separate ways. Sign here, please. Okay, uh, despite the complete arrogance of such a move, how do we handle something like this? Okay, my default position is that you should just reject it because you're walking away from the value of your work. That deed basically says you uh, walk away from the $450,000 value of your work and you agree to accept in full and final settlement $30,000 for it, for example. Now, you're just walking away from 420 grand. Why would you do that? So my default position uh, in the absence of other advice or legal advice or your personal circumstances is to reject it. Uh, it's really just a lot of the time it's just a test, just to try you on to see if they can get away with it. It wouldn't work the other way. You couldn't say to your client, gee, this is really inconvenient, uh, uh, this project for me at the moment, so sign this deed so I can just walk away and you get another contractor. That would never happen. So why should it happen the reverse? Why should it affect you? So in the absence of uh, any other factors, I would reject the deed of settlement and demand from your client to explain themselves. Ask your client, why, why are you valuing my work at $30,000? Why was this not announced to me? On what basis are you valuing it at $30,000? And what has changed uh, such that you want to wait, walk away from the contract value that we've agreed in writing? So demand the client to be accountable for uh, this uh, pathetic deed that they've sent you. It'll make them very uncomfortable and will certainly send the message that you're not going to settle for it. And the final point is at that point I would chase your money hard, chase all of it, either through, uh, through a legal process or through adjudication under security payment or in some fashion because you know that now a fight is, is definitely going to be in the offing. So to summarise, in the absence of anything else, reject a very low uh, deed of settlement, just reject them outright, they're just a try on. Second, demand that your client explains himself to you. And finally, chase your money at that point and chase all of it and chase it hard. Otherwise, you'll say be saying goodbye to a lot of it. I'll see you next time.